a Dread Fun original production. Please sit back and enjoy. Hey guys, Dread Fun here with another one of my time lapse paintings. Uh, this week I, I've got a guest sitting in with me. This is my grandson, Braden. If you've been following me at all, uh, I did him a while back as a, a sort of Christmas gift to his mom and dad. Uh, anyways, today's subject is uh, Bigfoot again. This time, uh, instead of the gorilla-inspired Bigfoot, I'm going with an orangutan-inspired Bigfoot. Um, it pretty much speaks for itself. Uh, you know, I'm going to draw a big, orange-looking, hairy monster. Uh, I lay everything out in pencil first, and then uh, I actually watercolor this image, and that's it. Don't really uh, add any ink or anything like that. Uh, one thing that was kind of hard to deal with was the fact that uh, there are a bunch of different species of uh, orangutan. There's the Bornean orangutan, Sumatran orangutan, and then a whole bunch of subspecies as well. Uh, as well on, on top of that, uh, orangutans, there's a lot of differences between the males and the females. Uh, males tend to be larger and they have these uh, sort of cheek flaps and uh, throat pouches. I didn't add any of that with uh, the male Bigfoot that I'm drawing here. I just sort of went with a more generic uh, orangey sort of look. Um, again, with uh, orangutans, they tend to have uh, longer arms and uh, sort of short stubby legs, and that's kind of what I did. With the, the watercolor, as you can see when I'm starting to add that in, I went with a nice brownish sort of reddish coat. Uh, again, I, I didn't really cover a lot of hair on the chest. Uh, again, sometimes in the uh, sightings and reports, they, they actually say that the Bigfoot creature has sparse hair. You can see some of the musculature and the skin on their, their, their chest and pectoral area. So I didn't do that. And then to sort of compensate for the throat pouches in the males, because they are very distinguished in, in those cheek flaps, I just sort of, I, I, I kind of put a little bit of hair kind of a, almost like a, a fringe uh, that goes underneath the, the beard. Uh, in the head shot, I really kind of coned up the head, made sure I had a nice point on it. Oh, now Brayden's going to start. You want to say something? What do you think of Bigfoot? Do you think he exists? Do you think there's a Bigfoot out there? He's over there! What? <laughs> no, he can't be over there. Okay. No, that's a kitty cat. Or no, that's a hammer. Anyways. Uh, the painting itself was a lot of fun to do. Um, again, I do a lot of research off to the side, downloading pictures, bless you, and uh, finding uh, sort of things to reference. When you're trying to do a real world image, you don't want, uh, well, you can never have too many references to use to make the, the drawing really look good. Uh, yes. Anyway, oh, okay. You gonna take my hat off while we finish? Okay, thank you. Anyways, uh, like I said, uh, it was a lot of fun doing this. Enjoy the drawing, and don't forget to subscribe and uh, like my video, and uh, you know, leave a comment in the section below. I know this is probably not what everyone thinks Bigfoot looks like. Uh, if you have a different view, let me know. Anyways, dread fun out. Say bye, Bray Bray. Bye bye. This has been a DreadFun.com production. Thanks for watching.